Here's a question for you. Did the Dragon Ball anime series inspire the Fast and Furious saga? So recently I finished the epic 10 film saga known collectively as the Fast and the Furious saga. And after the last film, which was truly amazing, groundbreaking in every respect, I realised that there's a lot of similarities here with the Dragon Ball series. Which made me wonder if the directors and the writers were just redoing Dragon Ball but with cars. Stay with me. Let's explore this theory. That is true. The most obvious similarity between the two series is how enemies become allies. Now Goku has an uncanny ability to convince former enemies to join his side. He collects former adversaries like Krillin collects death certificates. Dom Toretto is kind of the same. He collects former racing adversaries like this character collects broken noses. Yamcha, Tien, Vegeta, Piccolo, Majin Buu, etc. all were former fighters who tried to kill Goku and are now his allies. Hobbs, Shaw, this Shaw, Giselle, Jacob, all switch sides to join Dom in the end. Now some of these characters also have their direct counterparts in the anime. Tien is clearly Hobbs, that's Hobbs was inspired by Tien, I think that's un in indisputable. And, and we know this because this is how Tien looked when we first see him. And then later he goes through so much training that his shoulders are so big that you could draw three eyes and a mouth on each one of them and you wouldn't know which one was his real head. The Rock has clearly bulked up the same way Tien has. Or maybe The Rock has just based his muscle progression on Tien. I'll have to ask him one day. Piccolo is probably sure, this sure. Sure hurts Dom because of what Dom did to his family. Piccolo hates Goku because of what Goku did to his father, which if you don't know, is a family member. Piccolo then goes on to save Gohan, who is Goku's son, and Shaw goes on to save Dom's son. Clear parallel. The similarities are piling up. Now Vegeta is probably Brian. However, Brian lacks Vegeta's anger issues, but he does have Vegeta's obsession with pride. Brian spends a lot of the time trying to win races, to prove himself better than the Goku of the series, Dom. Vegeta also marries and has kids with Bulma, and while Bulma is not Goku's sister, she is Goku's only female friend. Same way Brian courts Dom's sister, his only family at the time of the film series you know, where it begins. Yamcha even has his parallels in the Fast and Furious franchise. Powerful, but not that powerful, struggles with the ladies. He's clearly this Fast and Furious character. But what else links these two, or what is anime and this film series? Well, there's the obvious powering up all the characters are doing. It's over 9,000! Clearly the characters are, you know, getting better and more powerful. Like, I just don't think it's disputable at this point. Dominic could only fight like this in the first film. You. Now, he can break parking lots. Think about street fights? The street always wins. And survive head-on collisions, both of the car and head variety. This is just how Goku and the other characters in Dragon Ball progress, through training and experience. Saiyans, Goku's race, grow stronger every time they get close to death. The same is happening with Dom. What clearly shows that the Fast and Furious saga is copying and then pasting the story progression of the Dragon Ball anime is that Dragon Ball like moved away from its core concept and Fast and Furious is doing the same. In Dragon Ball, finding the Dragon Balls was essential to fixing things. Finding this, these things, was like, it was the whole point. It was the goal of every series. You have to get them. And over time, it kind of moved away from this. It had its roots in the Journey to the West epic, uh, but now it's just fighting. These things don't quite matter anymore. They're just like a little thing they do at the end, but they're not really playing that big a role. It's the fights that do. The, and now it's just, it's just not the, it's not about making wishes and what that wish might do. These wishes only fix things now. What it's really about is screaming and getting a new hairstyle. In The Fast and Furious, the core concept was street racing. It was about that scene, about that particular criminal underworld that was attached to it. And just like Dragon Ball, it's still there, 
or at least the women who enjoy street racing are there. But the series has moved away from the street racing to spycraft, superpowers and space. This is not street racing. He does this three times for five minutes of the movie. Fast and Furious has moved on from the street racing, just like Dragon Ball moved away from the, the Dragon Balls. I feel I should attempt to address at least one difference between film series of the Fast and Furious and the Dragon Ball anime. Dragon Ball attempts to minimise civilian casualties whenever possible. Goku, as dumb as he is, at least understands that moving the fight to a barren desert is a good idea. The Fast and the Furious crew, however, have definitely killed some people, and they don't even attempt to minimise it. But that's the only difference, as far as I can see, between the two series. I don't think there's anything else. So we've covered the main points, let's do a lightning round for the other minor similarities. Even with enough training, you achieve a new form in Dragon Ball Z, and this happens in Fast and Furious. Jacob Toretto goes from this to having the facial structure and chiseled beautiful features of John Cena. And his name is John Cena! Fast and Furious is showing that its characters, like in the Dragon Ball Z, will have a final form. King Kai is obviously Mr. Nobody, wearing sunglasses when he doesn't need to, and he's also a sort of high government position in Dragon Ball Z, just like Mr. Nobody is in the world, not just America it seems. Mm -hmm. Cypher clearly modelled her hair on Gohan in the Freezer series, or Trunks in the Dragon Ball uh, Z series, Cell Saga. Cypher is also the head, I think she's like, because she's the head of this organisation, she's kind of like the replica of the Red Ribbon Army. Maybe she's supposed to be Dr. Jero, considering that she has a red head in her service, just like Dr. Jero and Android 16. This sure was the Freezer, since he was always ahead of Dominic during the film, until the very end. He also has a sort of Ginyu force of sorts. Also later, Shaw helps Dominic, but not in a big way, which is kind of like Frieza in the Tournament of Power saga. Also, I would have said this, this Shaw is so much like Frieza because he has this ability to make this runway that should have taken 20 seconds to fly down at best, or drive down at best, I should say. And he made it a hundred times longer. And that's the Fast and Furious replicating that part where Frieza says, uh, the planet will blow up in five minutes, and he stretches it out to five episodes. That's They've obviously copied that. The end scene of every Fast and Furious movie kind of is like the end of every Dragon Ball arc. See, the Dom and the group get around a table and they pray. You know, everything is back to normal, asking for things, being thankful. People thought dead are clearly alive again. It's just like the gathering of the Dragon Balls at the end of every saga to make a wish to, you know, set everything back to normal. So there you go. Fast and Furious, clearly based on Dragon Ball. Now, maybe you're not convinced, despite all the evidence that I've laid before you. So let me leave you with one last scene from the Dragon Ball anime. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Was that a challenge? Well, if it's a race you want, it's a race you'll get! That was very impressive driving. This entire video didn't need to be this long. I just, I just could have showed you that scene. That was all that's necessary. Just Dragon Ball, copy, paste, Fast and Furious saga. I mean, I don't hate it. I love it. That's why I like the Fast and Furious saga. There could be one... I just thought of it. There's one last difference between the two that could bring down this fury. Dom is a better father than Goku. Dom's never going to give the bad guy a brand new 10-second car when that bad guy is facing off against Dom Jr. Unlike Goku did in the Cell Saga. I mean, who gives the bad guy a chance to defeat their own son? But, you know, I don't think that completely destroys my theory. So what do you think? Is the Dragon Ball series just like the Fast and Furious Saga? Is it just a copy and paste scenario going on there? 
put your opinion in the comments. I will probably read it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.